Come on, we're late, let's go to. <laughs> Hello explorers! And welcome to the Garden Route. It is only 13 degrees Celsius, less than desirable, and we only have a weekend here. Yeah, so the plan for this episode is to show you some of our favorite places in the Garden Route. On this episode, we're going to show you places from Harrods Bay, where we are now, to Mossel Bay, just down the road here. Some places new, some places old, so come along for the journey. Okay guys, so we left Johannesburg at 6 this morning, Landon and George just after 8. It is currently just after 9 in the morning. We rented a car from Tempest to make this a bit easier and thank you to Discovery for making this the best experience on a one-stop shop. I dubbed the Scoot Scoot. This will make our garden adventures a lot easier. Come, let's go explore! Welcome to Hartenbos. This is really one of the places you want to retire at. That is so cool! Okay, so we're on the way to one of Yuan's favorite restaurants. What's its name? Sea Gypsy!
Hello explorers and welcome to Mossel Bay Point. Mossel Bay has so much to do. You can do the zip line that runs here behind us or go out on a boat trip. But this cave is pretty amazing. And when we're done here, we're gonna go up to the lighthouse. If you want to go to the uh, lighthouse restaurant, do not follow the St. Blaise Trail. We made that mistake but saw the beautiful caves. We made it! Welcome to St. Blaise restaurant at the lighthouse. Let's go! Spaces. If it's not your thing, don't do this. This was one of the coolest experiences in Mossel Bay. Come to the lighthouse. It is 100 Rand per person to go up to the lighthouse, but if you want to eat and drink something here at the lighthouse, it's only 50 Rand per person to go up. Guys, this place, chocolate cake, is the best in South Africa. I promise you that. So, use your GPS, put in Cape St. Blaise restaurant, and come and check the lighthouse. George, we stopped at Fishalicious to grab some fish and chips and we came and enjoyed yet Hookville at the famous big tree of the Naisna forest. But after this, let's head to Naisna. There's even a nice Naluri up in the trees here. 
That's going to be difficult to spot it on the camera. We hope you enjoyed this video. We wanted to include some low budget activities here in the garden route, where Hookville with the big three is absolutely worth a visit. Pack a picnic basket, come and do a hiking trail right here in the middle of the forest, and let's head to our next destination. Remember guys, explore more!